And uh, now I'm going to hand over to uh, Fernando de Silva Borges from the Federal University of uh, ABC. I'd love to know what ABC stands for. Uh, I've, I've kept seeing this while we've been organising the, the workshop. I've been curious. Can you tell us what the ABC stands for? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Joseph, for for the invitation and organization of this, this this workshop. I'm going to talk about the inference of the topology and nature of synapse in neural networks. Uh, specifically, I'm a, I'm a doing some new methods using uh, recently proposed for one co-worker uh, called uh, causal motor information in direct networks. Uh, I will stand for more examples later, but let's start. Uh, what's what's the inference in neural networks? I think it is in um, most of people in this workshop know about that, but uh, this inference uh, from data, what's the inference for the data? Uh, uh, determine uh, we would like from from the data, for example, local free potential, intercellular records, causal image, fMRI, EEG, uh, uh, data, uh, uh, inferring how the, the this data doing some kind of network uh, in the this data. Uh, basically, you use some like a. a uh, interact mixture based on time series. Um, here I will talk more about the membrane potential in a model. It's a, a theoretical approach, but uh, I, I'm doing how to uh, uh, infer it correctly without mistake. Then, then firstly, I, I will show in uh, some uh, theoretical approach, but it, it, this method could extend for any kind of data. Basically, the problem to to infer some network from data uh, with multiple ele electrodes is a uh, uh, one of this problem. Uh, independent of your uh, functional measure, you you have to put a treasure a threshold. Then uh, know about the threshold in your uh, how if if it's connected or not depends of the threshold. When you have a, a, a it's many functional measures like cross correlation, mutual information, causal multi information, uh, transfer entropy. You can put this in, in rank this, put in order for larger, for small, for example, and find some threshold. But the, the, the correct measure depends of this threshold. In the better threshold is one, the, this functional measure has a, it's a similar measure. For example, here's an example theoretical example for a network, neural network with 64 nodes. And here is a, it's a matrix of connection. And uh, for this matrix of connection, we have uh, 256 uh, uh, connection. And the, for the, the best case, the, the, the good case in any functional measure, if you use it, you should have a similar uh, measure for one group transition and the uh, nodes uh, measures with the nodes, they are adjacent and nodes, no adjacent or nodes connect nodes and no connect nodes. And you, you have this in your, your data and you are able to find it using your functional measure this abrupt transition, you uh, certainly you have a, a good inference in your model. Uh, but the, find this abrupt transition not easy, depends of many many things. Here we, we try to use some some uh, model from this this paper. Uh, they showed uh, how to in in very uh, using oscillator, mathematical oscillators, but could be extended for many uh, type of data. Uh, how to infer a network, exactly infer networks in direct links. Basically, uh, uh, in, in the theoretical point of view, there is some condition necessary to, to do that. It's 
é, many cases, it's impossible to infer all links or infer correctly all links. There are many mistakes in the data. But in the, the, the best case, uh, when you, you have a, a partial coherence, it's possible to uh, infer exactly all nodes in the network. Uh, when you have a complex synchronization or complex disorder, it's impossible. Uh, in this paper, they, they use two, 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 uh, two, two methods to, to do this, this, this inference. Basically, they using a network and they put it in, uh, wrap this, this, this measure in, in crescent order. And they're using some, some correct uh, symbolic analysis, they found this some kind of abrupt transition. Then any any point, any threshold in this abrupt transition is a good threshold, and you, you infer our connection. They showed too, it's a mutual information, it's a it's a better better measure to uh, find this abrupt transition. However, in this work, they use the mutual information and cross correlation. Uh, this case, th there, this connection is, uh, is no direction, it's an indirect connection. The mutual information from I to J is equal to mutual information from J to I. Then you know there are connections in this case, but you are not able to infer the direction of connection, a connection. Uh, and uh, then they show you here some possibilities to uh, change the, the optimization, the symbolic sequence of the data to got the best threshold, best, uh, best rank to find the abrupt transition. Uh, I, I, I'm talking here, the, this, this, this measure is called the causal motor information. This work, this theoretical approach was developed by Professor Murillo from the University of Aberdeen. Uh, I was there and I started this discussion with, you here, with him. Uh, and uh, uh, they are, in this paper, have more theoretical things about the, the, this measure. Here, we apply to infer direct connections in networks and study information flow. And basically, uh, what did this causal motor formation uh, do? This, this measure is for space, space, space time of the nature of the data. And we, see, we measure, they consider, uh, uh, the, for example, two data. You can spark uh, the correlation, the relationship between this, these two data in, in, in time and space. Uh, causal mutual information can be used not only to correct infer the direction underlying physical synapse, but, but to identify their statutory and inhibitory nature uh, using uh, easy finding the variety time series. This uh, it's in this paper that are more explication about that, but in, in, in practical point of view, we try to use it in uh, most uh, is it possible um, uh, time series and symbolic analysis and the in the vivarate time series where we use uh, doing analysis each part of nodes in the network independently uh, let me show the causal motor information was construed by idea this there are information flow information from the one 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 system for to be for example uh, longer time series or longer mensuring in this space, for example, uh, from from B should have a positive mutual information to short time series or short observation in A. Basically, it, when the, you are observe, observing B, you have to to analyze long time series or longer resolution in the B than A. Uh, Causal motor information uh, allows us to calculate similar measure for transfer entropy, but using uh, arbitrary resolution and the 
uh, it's possible using to binarize uh, easily uh, data from the many many types. Uh, the 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 advantage of this this causal information uh, you can we can use this to calculate in large dimensional space, for example, two dimensions. And we don't need to consider conditional probabilities, only joint and marginal probabilities. It, this, in a uh, computational point of view, is very good. And uh, we can use it to, for example, each pair of nodes, two dimensions, for example. And uh, if, if this computationally is, is very good and you easy to parallelize it in the, the data. For example, you have a MEA or AEG data, you have it maybe uh, runs of nodes and the easy you can calculate the, the this information per each part individually uh, the the venn diagram of the kami it's a uh, very similar to transfer entropy venn it's a uh, here as, as entropy uh, marginal entropy and joint entropy and the you, we can see this causal mutual information it's a, a transfer entropy plus, it is a transfer entropy, plus the mutual information between uh, two time series, for example, X and Y. And let's define this. It's a, it's a well, simple way to define this. Uh, just to take a two time series, X, I and X, J, for example, the causal mutual information from the XI to XV as the mutual information between joint events in XV with a length, length uh, using the length L past time, this minus represents the past time, for example, from the L to the present. And the second composed by joint events of the XJ from the minus L from the past L length and the future L. Then I has the, se the sequence X I has size that has length L, and the 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 sequence uh, X J has length from the minus L to plus L. Then the total size is a two L. We can uh, using the same formalism of the mutual information, but now we have this. Uh, this double size length, or we can rewrite this using the change the x to w, for example, and now we have a, a sequence of time, for example, time series xi size l, and the another sequence w j with size 2 l. Uh, this mutual information can be could, could be calculated using the standard entropy, channel entropy. And the, uh, uh, moreover, the causal motor information, how, how I showed, uh, how we see in the Venn diagram, it's a uh, mutual information in this X, I, N, X, J uh, date, uh, time series, and plus the transfer entropy uh, from the X5 to XJ. Uh, we can calculate uh, simply in a symbolic construction of uh, probabilities, distribution of probabilities in this some data. Uh, I will exemplify this here, but using the standard uh, mutual formation calculation. Just now we have a, a 2L size in the, in the, the sequence J. For example, here you have a, a simple example. It's a, it's a model, but it's a model of the spike neurons. It's a Inamash Rose model. I will show later what this model. Uh, here you have a spike. Yeah, the first, the eye neuron is, is in red, the black neuron is in L, is J neuron. It's a zoom from this, this point here. Here is a time index. In milliseconds, and it's a normalized normalized membrane potential. Here is very simple to normal to put in symbolic sequence this this time series. Just simple way, just normalize this the whole data and the 
put a, uh, a partition in the in the middle in the dot zero dot five and the uh, values above in the middle got symbol one and uh, values below the middle got got the symbol zero. Uh, this uh, is a simple way. In, in for for this case for spike neurons works very well because it's a it's a like it's a like zero one problem. But in general cases like local field potential EEG, we can divide in any kind of a partition Markov partition with a size L2 for depends of your data. I will try explain more about this this kind of partition. But uh, Murillo groups has uh, more works about the only partition how, uh, studying how to find the best partition to code in the symbolic sequence. But in the simplest partition, uh, for example, here the times from uh, we using the symbolic sequence with delta delta t equal one milliseconds. Then we can see the symbols in circles here. Uh, each uh, millisecond we mark a uh, x normalize x and we find the symbolic representation. Sorry, and the the symbolic sequence symbolic representation in l l f uh, size L symbolic representation. For example, for uh, here I, I I call the one and two, but it's similar for ing. Uh, if the x value is is below than the dot five, the value the x value is zero, and the x x value is above half the x symbol got one and the for example here we use l2 for represent this, this sequence then for l2 uh, for just for for simplification and visualization we are going to use only future uh, future uh, symbolic sequence but it's uh, equal to past symbolic sequence just a uh, uh, I'm using the current time and the next one, but I could use uh, current time and the previous time. It's, it's, a, it's same same thing, but the, the symbolic sequences will be the same. And the, the for example, this, this case, I'm trying to infer the study the connection from the I to for, from the one to two. Then the sequence two has L equal to four. Then I, I multiply by to the size of the seconds. Then for the semi, now this is a, it's a, a black case, zero two. The semi wave from one, you have one or zero encoding and the, the coding of symbolic sequence S2 L with length four. Then for example, here you have zero, one, one, zero, zero, one, zero. And in this way, you can encode any kind of data, and the, uh, it's a very simple way to encode the data. You have some parameters, important parameters here. You have delta t, depends on the resolution data acquisition, for example, and the, what the, the connection, the time of the spec, the uh, correlation between the, this connection, and the, the size of the minimal size of the, the symbolic sequence. In the simple form, you just multiply by two, but it, this, this important here, it's uh, the, the, this, the second, the second, second, second have to be bigger or in high resolution. Don't need to be multiplied by two exactly. But for simplicity, by two is easier to measure. And uh, using this, you can calculate, we can calculate the probability of any state here, for example, probability of the 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, and 1, 0. And for second case, you have a more different probabilities. And the finding the joint probabilities is what's the probability to find this one and this one. And put in this equation, find easily the for longer time series using 
uh, divary time series, for example. Uh, how uh, normally you can using this this just dictionary plenty index to to infer, infer in a direct connection. It's uh, usually using by uh, using transfer entropy. So we have a uh, substitution from from the transfer transfer uh, x y to x j minus transfer entropy from x j to x y. Uh, how the the mutual information is uh, uh, symmetric? You you can uh, mutual information from j to i is well mutual information from i to j in any case. Uh, how by definition by this definition when we subtract this one uh, by invert invert by the opposite the inverting the x and j you you kill this term and the, the transfer entropy and the difference between transfer and and can be is zero then that's another thing that's we can use the uh, transfer entropy or can be in the same way in the same mean uh, this this uh, scenario that's uh, we use to 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 do the the if the inferior the connection basically like any measure if we have a positive value high positive value there is info information from the i to j if we have a negative value we we have a, a flow information from j to i if the value of the i is near zero you we generate you the the the, the, the Information flow or is zero or this is equal from the both directions. And the, in this case, when we consider only direct nodes to do the direct inference, uh, means the, the these nodes are no adjacent nodes. Uh, one simple example for two nodes, for this case, two neurons. I mean, use this equation. It's a in the Rose equation. It's a simplified version of the Hodge-Hudson equations. Uh, for this case, this case, this this model is good because uh, in this model there is a like a burst, chaotic chaotic burst in the high Fahrenheit, and then to do this this inf infer inference, we need a lot of events to 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 do the 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 time series is small it's possible and then uh just uh reusing this like the previous slides and they calculated the causal mutual information there is nine blacks and mutual information first i, I show the mutual information this line it's a, a statutory coupling these are only two neurons in, with uh, one coupling from i to j for example uh it's a it's a mapping using delta t equals 0.5 and L equal 8. Uh, the, this is a mutual information. When the, the coupling is zero, the, neuro, the neurons are unconnected. Then, as was expected, then every measure goes to zero. When I, I, I'm going to increase the, the statutory coupling, the, the direct information, the causal information becomes positive. In, in front the, the network as is connected from I to J. And mutual information is equal from i to j and j to i, and the mutual information is equal to causal mutual information from j to i. Means the the there are, there are no connections from j to i. I how I did that in my model. I respect this, but the this confirmed the 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 good measure uh, inf to 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 infer this discriminated element. And the subtrain this one, these two, you have this directional index, and you use this this directional index to do the inference. Uh, from here, we're using this short notation, uh, just the, the i it's a i j. Uh, it's easier to to write this. Then let's uh, let's basically the the it's a basically. We have a, a, a n time series, and you have to do for each part of the time series. 
But for in, uh, for two neurons in in this case in semi semi things, uh, there are some parameters. For example, the size of the, the symbolic sequence L, uh, the the time map. It's a, it's a continuous like uh, data, but you have to discretize this to, to put in symbolic sequence. So here you, you have some graphs in the parameter space. If, for example, you have a coupling like this one, just to, to vary in the high synchroniz synchronization level and low synchronization level and the no connection when the coupling equals zero. Basically, what we found using this two simple model, uh, increase the size of the symbolic sequence improve the 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 di then for example here i will go two then five and six but stabilize it uh, after some some value generally small value for this case like four five and six you have similar measure for the i and uh, there are another measure uh, you can use but here for for this case it was useless uh, is a is a delay. For example, here you can use a delay if you, for example, have a long range connection or another kind of data. If you probably have a delay, you can use this kind of delay in, to calculate the joint probability. For example, here we have a, the joint probability from the, uh, the for delay two from n equal uh, to eight five. And the, the joint probability will be calculated with the n 2872, uh, the two. Just But in our case, the, we show here, the delay do not improve the, 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 the value of the i. Yeah. Uh, uh, Fernando, we're, we're at about 26, 27 minutes. So if you want to start wrapping up in okay, the next just, few just, minutes, just, we might not have time for questions. Okay, just to finish now, uh, you can do uh, individually, uh, if you have any kind of the N nodes time series, uh, experimental or uh, simulating, you can uh, rank the, this uh, DI value and you you found, you, you can find a book transition. Uh, for example, it's a, it's a, a network of six for uh, n natural zeros. And uh, surprisingly, you can uh, separate, uh, for example, inhibitory statutory connection, in this case, you have only statutory, only inhibitory connection, you have statutory inhibitory connection. And uh, we could apply using some noise. Uh, for example, here, two kinds of noise. Uh, you have uh, the data, the data uh, it's a noise data. You can, you can observe the, the it's a, a little robust noise. And uh, we apply to, to Selegan's network because uh, in this network, you, you know uh, every connections. For example, in this case, we have a, uh, uh, 277 euros with uh, around 2,000 direct connection. To test, we put the 50% statutory, 50% inhibitory, and we find this, this two abrupt transition, what is expect, then the, it's a good for test our model. And finally, you test two to this, this causal motor information method to uh, study information flow between efforts. For example, here you have two networks, and there's some kind of intra-degree intra connection, inter-degree connection. Uh, like showed in the previous works in theoretical point of view, if we, uh, the, we have a, uh, uncorrelated data or high synchronization in high synchronization level data, uh, the, the, the direct information is low. The maximum direct information, it's, a, it's, a, it's a in the middle, in the, uh, in the middle for the high, synchronization level and the unsynchronized level. Uh, you can see here in, in the coupling, you have a max here. Just conclude, our, max, our methodology uh, uh, works to, to direct information, to indirect to, to find the connections in project inference. Uh, we could uh, identify, identify the nature of synapse. Here, I'm showing just a, Two cases when you have extractor inhibitor, but we can find the characteristic of, of the neurons, for example, the burst the neurons, spike neurons. Uh, it's a robust noise. We applied to some mean field model, and uh, it's worked too to understand the, how the, these two cluster nodes are 
two, two cluster networks are connected. And uh, to do a, a inference with no mistakes, uh, the, the, the time series should be a, a large, for example, in seconds, it's dependent of the size of network. In, for example, I try to apply for many here things. The size of the, the data is very important, and sometimes it's, uh, the size is not enough to calculate this abrupt transition. And the, the principle found here, it's a, the, 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 the model works just for some specific parameters in the symbolic encoding. Then, then the symbolic encoding is a, a, a key to find this abrupt transition and find no mistake inference. I'd like to, to thank the organizer, Joseph, and the supporting agents. Any question, any information, if you'd like to read the papers, you can find in my research gate or email me. It's okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you, Fernando. I'll make the audible applause. Uh, okay. We're a little bit over time, so we, we'll just take one question. Uh, and it's uh, it's one that's been upvoted three times. I won't invite Alice on screen in the interest of time. Can you see that question there, Fernando? I'll read yes. it out for the recording. She's asked, could you summarize what the advantages are of using uh, causal MI instead of TE? Is it about computability or are there situations where causal MI is more appropriate than TE and vice versa? Yes, uh, in my case, when the, we are using uh, big, big networks, if many nodes, the principal advantage of causal information uh, is the, we can uh, use only joint probabilities. You don't need to use it uh, uh, just using uh, conditional probabilities, just using joint probabilities. It's the, very easy to compute in the large time series. And uh, it's, uh, you can, uh, each time you cal could calculate the, the that joint probability and the, uh, uh, using to, to sum this to calculate the, the entropy and the causal information. In some methods to calculate transfer entropy, you have to use the, the conditional probability. And the, in the long time series, the big network, this could be a computational problem. But there are some some methods, then I don't know, I, uh, could it work similar. But in, in, in general, it's a, the main, main advantage, it's about this, this, this calculation. Okay, yeah. I'm well, I'd like to dive into that more, but we should probably we should probably leave it there since we're uh, we're, we're kind of out of time. Uh, thank you very much, Fernando. There's there's one more okay. question here on the Q and A. Uh, Ronaldo, I'll I'll ask you if you'd like Fernando to, to answer that. Maybe put put that on the forum in Eurostars, and uh, and Fernando can check that uh, later yes. on. Uh, thank you again, uh, Fernando. Okay. Thank you. Again. I'll give you another thank another you round too. of applause.